The history of Christianity is full of incredible characters, but these amazing people do not appear out of a vacuum. All of them have someone who has encouraged or built them up or educated them, whether it be a mentor, a friend, or the church, the body of Christ itself, both past and present in their age, or their family. Today I want to introduce you to an incredible woman of the past, a woman that encouraged and helped heroes be formed in her age, and who has a lot to teach us in our age today. Her name is Macrina. She is far from one of the most famous figures of history. She is far from the most famous figure in her century, and she isn't even the most famous person in her own family. One of the things for which she is most famous is having two brothers. Her younger brothers, Basil and Gregory, are two of the most famous Christians of history. Giants in theology. They left behind incredible writings and incredible impacts on the world. Macrina didn't leave us any writings at all. But what she did leave us was her life. Macrina is born in the 4th century. Christianity is no longer under persecution. It is now the official religion of the Roman Empire. So persecution of Christianity is a slowly fading memory. And those Christians that suffered under persecution are honored in their memory by the Christians of that age, this new generation that are living in freedom. So Macrina is named after her grandmother, Macrina the Elder, who suffered under the persecutions of the Roman Empire. From very early in her life, Macrina shows an incredible love and a zeal for Christianity. She memorizes the Psalms, she's always seen praying, she's always seen basically being an incredible Christian influence. She grows into a beautiful young woman, and her parents help arrange a marriage for her to a very good young Christian man. Unfortunately, he dies before the wedding can ever take place, and Macrina takes this as a sign that she is to not be married. She chooses to never get married for the rest of her life, and instead to dedicate her entire existence to serving God and his people. She does this by loving the poor, by helping out her parents, and helping her parents raise her younger siblings. And that's one of the incredible parts of Macrina's life. The reason we know so much about her is because of what was written about her by her younger brother Gregory. Gregory is incredibly famous for the writings he leaves behind, including the life of Macrina. And we know from his writing how much he loved his older sister and how much he learned from her and respected her. He refers to her as the common glory of our family. He writes about the influence she had on his younger brother Peter and how she taught and raised him in the faith. He became a hero in the faith himself. And he writes delightfully about his older brother and Macrina's younger brother, Basil. Now Basil had always been an intelligent boy. He was always smart, he knew his stuff, but he went away to be educated. And when he came back from what was their version of university, he wasn't just intelligent, he was insufferable. He really considered himself brilliant. He had learned so much rhetoric, theology, how to really present ideas, and now he was back in the countryside with his family and really thought everyone else was kind of beneath him. He's just a bit egotistical. And Gregory writes beautifully about how Macrina basically sits him down and calms him down. She talks to him about what is truly important, about all of the theology and information that he has stored in his head is kind of useless unless he uses it for Christ, unless he actually loves with it. And it works. He takes what she has said to him on board and he becomes a man that is known as Basil the Great, a man whose writings are profound in their theology, but also in their practical application of love for the poor. He cared for so many people in his lifetime. And both Basil and Gregory, her two younger brothers, are going to appear multiple times over the course of this series because of the impact that they left. But the impact that they left kind of traces back to the impact left upon them by their older sister. When Macrina lays dying, Gregory comes to visit her on her deathbed. She pretends that she's not sick, she doesn't want to worry him, and he just spends time talking to her, knowing that this is one of the last times he's going to spend time with her. Gregory's been going through his own problems. He's been exiled by the emperor, there's heresies that he's trying to fight, and he's trying to work in the church, and he's, he's sad and stressed out. And Macrina, again, comforts him, brings him back down to earth and says, what are you complaining about? You come from a beautiful Christian family and God has used you to bless people and to serve people. She basically tells him, in other words, I'm really proud of you. And you know the way he writes that segment in his work, that it really went to his heart and he never forgot that she was proud of him. And he became the Gregory that we remember to this day. Gregory sits with her while she dies. He watches as she finishes a prayer and ends her life in the same breath. 
and after her funeral discovers that not only was she the wonderful person he knew, but that she blessed more people than he thought was possible, that she had actually worked miracles in her lifetime. And he says in this document that he won't even write down the miracles because he's worried people won't even believe them if he tried. This was a woman that he loved, he had learnt from, and he wrote down her story for us to never forget. A lot of us can remember or think of people in our lives, whether living or past, whose stories and whose teachings have helped shape us into the people that we are. For me, one of the most influential figures in my life is my father. He has taught me almost everything I know of God, almost everything I know about loving God. And this entire channel and this show and all the work my brother and I do as Orthodox Christians can really be traced back to how he has raised us. We all have these kind of people in our lives. And the story of Macrina and how she influenced her brothers, how she helped change her family and how she just loved her family is a reminder for us to love these kind of people and to be grateful to God for the incredible influence that they, uh, they are in our lives and that he has placed them there for us. But also it is a reminder that we might be like Macrina to someone else. We might be a Macrina to someone's Basil or someone's Gregory that we might be called upon by God to be that encouragement, to be that presence in their lives. And we won't necessarily know it. So how do we prepare ourselves for it? Basically, we prepare ourselves for it the way Macrina prepared herself for it, which was that she didn't. She didn't set out to be an example to her younger brothers. She didn't set out to be a person whose story is still remembered 1600 years after her death. She set out to love God and to serve God, to give as much of herself and as much of her life as she could possibly to Jesus Christ. And because she did that, these opportunities God placed in her path, and she was able to be there to do the work that God had given her to do. And I doubt she ever thought of the profound impact that she was having. I doubt she wanted to know. Her entire existence was focused on Christ, and her last moments on earth were spent talking to Christ. So that's how we prepare. And that's what we take away from the story. That we can be like Macrina. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, today's tea is, uh, it's an Australian blend called Billy Tea. It's black tea with something called Kulu tea inside it. It's been a best-selling Australian tea for like 130 years. It's very Aussie. Also, final thing, in the description below, we will put a link to an ebook of the life of Macrina by her brother Gregory. So you can read for yourself his words. It's a beautiful, touching text. And um, yeah, I, I do recommend it. It won't take you very long. It's not a very long book, but it is well worth the read.